The Carolinas are well known for their ghost stories, and we discovered that in Wilkes County, there are historic personalities that some say still make themselves known to the citizens and to the visitors of Wilkesboro. Now it's time for you to decide. I'm going to tell you a ghost story. We're going to start with the gentleman behind me. His name is Ben Cleveland. Ben Cleveland began to hunt down, track down, and prosecute Tories. Now, Tories are those people who are loyalists to the crown. Ben Cleveland hated them, thought them to be traitors of utmost proportion, and he felt it's his Christian duty to do away with them. He began to really hang every Tory that he possibly could. In fact, nine of those Tories were hanged on the Tory oak. This is the side of the Tory Oak where Ben Cleveland hanged nine Tories. Ben Cleveland was a fierce patriot. He believed that anybody who was loyal to the king was actually miserable. And he was quoted as saying, we have to put these people out of their misery. Ben Cleveland was noted as um, almost a terrorist, kind of like a guerrilla warfare fair type of person. One of the Tories tried to bribe the guard before breakfast and Ben Cleveland had just sat down to breakfast. He got up, went outside, hanged the man, and came back and finished his breakfast. This is a real slave cabin built in 1837. Long about the Civil War right there, as the South was collapsing, a shortage of money, they sold two of the children out of here, a little girl and a little boy. They were ages five and 12. This caused a great deal of hatred in the family right here. And being of the voodoo religion, they put a curse on the family right there in the form of uh, writing and an inscription on the wall there that is still written there. Some people came up and analyzed it from North Carolina Archaeology Department out of Raleigh and said it was made of coal, tar, and kerosene. Looked like three W's with three, a little inscription there. Uh, but it supposedly meant death and destruction to the family that lived in the bigger house right here. Well, this building, the Old Wilkes Jail, is probably the most haunted building in all of Wilkesboro. Many paranormal groups have come to investigate here. In the lady cell next door, where Ann Melton was held for the murder of Laura Foster, along with Tom Dooley, a lady whispering has been heard. Several EVPs, electronic voice phenomena, have been captured here. In the men's holding cell downstairs, they, a group from Lenora captured what sounded like a multitude of people talking at the same time. Maybe many people who had been arrested on a rowdy Saturday night. We're in the holding cell. This would have been uh, the room that the drunken and disorderly people would have been thrown uh, probably after court date before they were either released or put upstairs in a more permanent cell. And you can tell from the door that you know, there's bars there so that um, there wouldn't be any contact with these drunken and disorderly people. Now this is a Brigadier General James B. Gordon. He was the highest ranking officer in the Confederacy from Wilkes County and according to many records, the most eligible bachelor of all the Confederate officers. But what's really interesting about this particular picture is that people have reported it actually winking at them, especially young girls. So many people think that when he suddenly winks at these young girls that maybe he's still trying to pick somebody up. We're in the home today of Robert Cleveland. The home originally stood in Parsonsville where he built the house in 1779. Lots of interesting things have happened in this home as far as paranormal activities. One activity is people sometimes come to this mirror but they look in the mirror, they don't see themselves, but they see an apparition of a revolutionary soldier. <laughs> Another paranormal activity recorded in the Cleveland house is the rocking chair to my left. Robert's first wife, Allie Mathis, Cleveland had 10 children. The last two were twin daughters. About two weeks after their birth, one of the twins died alone with Allie. People have come on tours as well as other visits to the Cleveland house it's an apparitions of a woman rocking in 
the rocking chair. Is it possible these historic figures continue to express themselves from beyond? With the old Wilkes Candlelight Ghost Tour, you now have a chance to find out for yourself.